We serve food here, sir. One Krabby Patty, extra onion. One crying Johnny coming up. Bun down, shoe, mustard, pan, bun, in that order. I hear talk you make a mean Krabby Patty. One Krabby Patty. Krabby Patty. A Krabby Patty. Yep. Here you go. <laughs> Well, Bubbass, what do you think? This is pretty good. Spot, you SpongeBob! You failed again, SpongeBob. You failed pants. No, he burnt my shake. Three cheers for the return of our master fry cook, SpongeBob! Hip hip! customary three-pound watermelon and drink my traditional pitcher of sangria both at the same time while I confirm how wrong I was about this ridiculous misunderstanding. What does that sign say? Hmm, Sodor Railway. Really reliable and right on time. <laughs> Holy crap! They talk! They actually talk! I'm meeting Mr. Conductor. He's looking after us while Sir Topham Hat takes a much-needed holiday. Oh, I think we can take care of ourselves. <laughs> God. Maybe we do need Mr. Conductor here, after all. Hmm? Well, I hate to say I told you so, but... Uh, wait a minute, I love saying I told you so. <laughs> Doi! At the other end of my universe, far away across oceans of time, up and over Muffle Mountain and hidden deep in a valley, is my hometown, Shining Time. Boring! And a still buzz off! What are you doing in the sheds, James? I'm feeling a little blue, which isn't so hot when you're blue. I... Uh, what? I was naughty and Sir Topham Hat told me to think about all the ways I can be really useful. Then I can come out again. He's just trying to make this a better railway for steam engines. Sir Topham Hat says the harder we work, the less he'll need diesels to help. Help you? Oh. <laughs> oh. You'll always need help. Because steam engines are cowardly niggers! One day, Thomas was at the junction when Gordon shuffled him with some trucks. Phew! Remarked Thomas. What a funny smell. Said Thomas. Annie and Clarabel could hardly believe their ears. Where have you been, lazy bones? asked Thomas. Uh, 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 uh. Moaned Henry. Rubbish, said Thomas. You're too fat. You need exercise. I'm not fat. I'm getting insane. Sadistic! Shit 
eating, cock sucking, butt fucking, penis smelling, crotch grabbing, bowl licking, semen drinking, dog raping, Nazi loving, child touching, cow humping, perverted, spineless, heartless, mindless, dickless, testicle choking, urine gargling, jerk offing, horse face, sheep fondling, toilet kissing, self centered, feces puking, dildo shoving, not spitting, crap gathering, big nose, monkey slapping, bastard screwing, bean shitting, fart knocking, sap busting, splooge tasting, bear blowing, head swallowing, bitch snatching, hair jobbing, donkey caressing, mucus spewing, anal plugging, hole grabbing, uncircumcised, sewer sipping, whoremongering, piss swimming, midget munching, douche bang, hole biting, carnivorous, mail order, brought that dirty asshole! A large notice wants them not to enter the area. Danger! Engines must not pass this board. You can't tell me what to do! I am sunk. And he was. What a silly engine I am! And Thomas began to cry. How could this happen to me? It was a lot harder than they all thought. But at last, Thomas was free. I'm sorry I was... Oh! Let's talk about good oral hygiene. Rocco went to see a professional dentist, and now, and now his teeth are in perfect condition. What are you talking about? My little ponies! Oh, it makes my wheels wobble to think of it. Ha! Fags! Said Thomas. Percy was disappointed. <laughs> Thomas was being oiled up for his hand job. Percy's had an accident, cried Toby. You were an accident! Where have you been? asked Toby. I have no idea, said Thomas. Oh, sorry, can't stop. Well, 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 well. What do you know about that? Anyone would think, chuckled Toby, that our Thomas had just seen a penis. Pissed off. Love being bald. I wonder what sex is. Now, don't you babies know anything? Well, what happens is there's a woman and a man, and the man puts his his penis into the woman's bum, and then the um, what's it called? The sperm goes into the woman, and then it, it I think this is right. Well, it grows and grows, and then after nine months, it turns into a baby. 
and then the room gives childbirth if, if I'm right. Whoa, as soon as I can't get, I find out something I never know before. What are we gonna do, Angelica? Well, the first thing you gotta know is... You are a fucking piece of shit! What you need is some people here. <laughs> said James. You look as gay. Oh, I am, replied Trevor. <laughs> What's that noise? asked James. It's a little bit. laughed Trevor. So it stung James right back on the nose. <coughs> Whistled James. <laughs> Thomas and Percy are gay. But sometimes Percy teases Thomas about being his Tom and, and he doesn't like that at all. One evening he was decerating happily in the shed, but Percy wanted to talk. Are you dreaming about the time you thought I was a ghost? Certainly not. Next day, the fat controller arrived. I would like you to go to the harbour tonight to collect something rather unusual. What sort of something? Wait and see. Oh, yeah. oh dear, he murmured. It's very dark. Oh, oh, what's that? Thomas was waiting for his mysterious load at the harbour. Suddenly, there it was. <laughs> Percy was asleep in his sidings and had no idea that Thomas was approaching him. Maybe I did imagine the dragon after all. But Percy soon found out that he hadn't. Save me! cried Percy. It's all right, whistled Thomas. By the way, how was your night out? Your mom um, and I. The other night, I was over there selling her some pot, and uh, she was getting all touchy and shit, and uh, yeah, I, I basically did her. I, well, I didn't. Yeah, that's what I did. Who else but Qu Percy? He's Percy. Was Percy. Was you never really know what he's gonna do next. Is Percy. Was Percy. Was giggity, 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 giggity. Let's have sex. Thomas is a tank engine. He's a cheeky little shit with six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler, and a short stumpy dick. Always pulling coaches about ready for the big engines to take on long and when trains come in, he pulls the empty coaches away so that the big engines can go and masturbate. Thomas thinks no engine works as hard as he does. He loves playing tricks on them, including Gordon, the biggest and proudest engine of all. Wake up! Why don't you work hard like Toby? 
Instead of going to sleep again, Gordon thought how he could get back at Thomas. <laughs> One morning, Thomas wouldn't wake up. It was nearly time for the express. He fussed into the station where Gordon was waiting. <laughs> Hurry up, you, said Gordon. Hurry yourself, replied Thomas. Hurry up, you. Hurry yourself. Hurry up, hurry yourself. Hurry up, hurry yourself. Hurry up, hurry yourself. I will. Whee! At last, they stopped at a station. Thomas was uncoupled, and he felt very silly and exhausted. Next, he went on to a turntable, thinking of everyone laughing at him. He went home very slowly, and was careful afterwards to be cheeky to Gordon again. Thomas, the tank engine, was dying. Then the fat controller spoke to Duck. I want you to help Percy and Toby while Thomas is away. Fuck! Yeah. I will personally destroy Barack Obama, and it's not because he's African American. It's, it's, it's because of his socialist policies. Look, Such my sister's nice married to a black manners, guy. It's they not told a black each other. Thing. And then he it went really on to list all his other African American friends. In the small town. Thomas was so pleased to be home that he soon forgot to be home. The works had left Thomas's handbrake very stiff. It made his brakes seem as if they were hard on. Good night, everybody. Fireman had fastened the coupling and joined the driver and station master on the platform. Hot buttered sex. Suddenly he felt his wheels begin to move. He tried to stop, but he couldn't without his driver and fireman. He tried to whistle a warning, but he couldn't do that either. The guard, driver, fireman and passengers were all stranded on the platform. Shriek Danny and Clarabel. I can't! The house rocked. There, ready for action, was Harold the helicopter. <laughs> Judging his moment, the inspector scrambled into the cab and screwed the brake hard on. Did we just carjack someone? Remarked the inspector. Wearily, Thomas agreed with him. Emily charged towards Oliver and with a huge effort pushed him across the tracks.
Everybody was too late. steam engine. He's the fastest engine on the island of Sodor. He loves speeding along his line with the wind blowing across his funnel. You've broken the record again, said his driver. <coughs> Snorted Gord. The fat controller arrived with news of a special for Thomas. I like to move it, move it. Thomas likes making special deliveries for the fat controller. It makes them feel special. You are special, special. Every Shut up! Thomas arrived at the docks excited to see the jet engine. Hurry up! No! Said Cranky. <laughs> he became so cranky that he was careless with his hook. His hook knocked the switch, and the switch started the switch, and the engine began to whine. The whine got louder and 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 louder. Said Cranky. The driver tried to put on the brakes, but Thomas couldn't stop. Oh! Thomas flew by James and rocketed past Henry and raced by Percy. Bertie was excited when he saw Thomas flying down the track. Want a race, Thomas? Beat Bertie. Never mind. I am slow, said Gordon proudly. Fuck you, old lady! Gordon could not believe what he had seen. At last, the jet engine ran out of fuel, and Thomas was back under his own power. The house rocked. 